The overall goal of this procedure is to quantify spontaneous locomotor activity of fruit flies. This is accomplished by first collecting and aging experimental flies. The second step is to set up population monitors in a temperature-controlled incubator and download the appropriate software. Next, the flies are transferred to glass vials and then placed inside population monitors where the activity monitors are run. The final step is to analyze the data. Ultimately, population monitors are used to show differences in spontaneous physical activity of flies. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, such as negative geotaxis, is that it allows for simple, reliable, and objective continuous recording of spontaneous physical activity of multiple populations of flies. This method can help us to determine how different manipulations affect fly spontaneous physical activity. Demonstrating the procedure will be Suzanne Kowalski, a lab assistant from my laboratory. To begin, prepare food according to the steps listed in the accompanying text protocol and let it cool down with constant mixing on a hot plate. Aliquot 5 milliliters of food into each narrow glass vial, making sure the amount of food is below the lowest ring of the population monitor. After the food cools down to room temperature, cover the vials with sponge plugs and keep them at 4 degrees Celsius for up to two weeks. Warm up the vials to room temperature before use. Next, grow Canton S flies in plastic vials with standard laboratory.